Spokane is known for its iconic bridges, and another could soon be built. Plans are in the works for a new pedestrian bridge connecting the University District to East Sprague. And KXY Force Kylie Cruz live now in the U District tonight to explain why the city thinks this new bridge is needed. Kylie? And Nadine, millions of dollars have been invested here at the U District, but it all stops right behind me at that fence. Now, this bridge would change things. It would connect the two areas together in hopes of creating a mixed-use urban neighborhood. These railroad tracks almost act as the Great Divide. North of the tracks, a thriving university district, and south, an underdeveloped area with plenty of weeds. But the city has plans to change that with a bike and pedestrian bridge. It's a very nice bridge for the, for the setting we see in the future, and I think we wanted something a little more iconic. It would look like this, a 400 feet long cable stayed arch bridge connecting the University District to East Sprague. It's really about the opportunity for growth in the South University District. Um, any perception that is in the area, we can overcome by bringing a good light to the area. Scott Richter, who works in the U District, gives the plan a big two thumbs up. Increasing mobility is a good thing. It allows access to people who might not ever come over to this side. But there is a cost, a big one. Right now, city leaders put the price tag on the project anywhere from 10 to 12 million dollars. I find myself wondering why is it entirely necessary. Councilman Mike Fagan thinks it's a big waste of money. Uh, we are in a down economy. You know, whereas some of my colleagues might see the light at the end of the tunnel, I see a faint glimmer. But on the other hand, Richter points to the future. Instead of being filled with weeds, this land south of the tracks could be a roaring urban neighborhood. I think you have to look at things like that in the long term and not necessarily what it costs now. What can it generate as far as economic vitality in the next 10, 20, 30 years? Right now, the project is in the design phase. That should wrap up this summer. Now, the city's still trying to secure funding dollars for this massive bridge. Now, they are looking at potential funding through the state as well as the federal government, and they hope to have it completed by 2017, possibly even a little bit sooner than that. Reporting live tonight in the U District, I'm Kylie Cruz, KXLY4 News.